got 904. Uh, and everyone is here with the exception of Christian, which we didn't expect, right? That's all right. Excellent. Right, excellent. Right, excellent. Okay, uh, approval of agenda. Does anybody have any comments? We've got added two as the months went along and looks good. Yeah, uh, so I have a motion for approval of the minute of the agenda. I move that we approve the agenda as set. Uh, a second. Candy. All those in favor? Yes. All right. Any approved? Any opposed? Uh, approval of the previous month's minutes. Anybody have comments on the minutes? They do include the visitor. Uh, yes, speak up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did a lovely job. <laughs> no, it's, it's you did, yeah. and, and I, I have a couple yeah. of corrections. If it's okay, no so in case name is spelled, I'd like to correct. Oh, spells. I wondered about that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so it, it's an um, e house in the first place. <clears throat> so that's where I see that. So it's E D Y hyphen K A Y, and the last name is Ward W A R D. Okay, thank you. So, and then off to the um, e business, which is on page three. Um, let's see, I think the last sentence in paragraph A. It just needs to be pulled up because um, if you read where B is, that's actually the last part of the last sentence of A. Yeah, it is. So if you could just kind of pull that up to the A. And, oh, okay. And that'll be okay. sure. Just change the, for the rest of the lettering. Sometimes that's easier said than done. I know, it just oh. happened. Well, it's just <laughs> happened. Little, little hiccups happen, and I do it all the time, too. And then, oh, I don't care. Okay. So um, then also, instead of the word proposals in that book, our last word in that sentence mm -hmm. that it's applications because we don't write grant proposals we write oh right. Right, right okay um, and then in uh, what is now letter b um what i asked them is if you could provide them experts so if we could just insert the word experts estimated time because we were looking to um, get that from uh, what's the name of the heaven? Yeah, Our, yeah. We were looking for the expert, the historic preservation restoration contractor, right. Kevin from Empire, to to help us understand a, kind of a timeline, a little level of urgency in the cost. So that was not to have to ask so much that Ben provide that, but we get that from 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 the expert. Then in what is now letter C, if you could just include one last sentence, I suggested adding electricity to the Disney bucket. Because Ben asked the board to think about other items. Karen Reed came up with the landscaping and green tea, and I suggested adding electricity to the Disney bucket. That's so the end of... No, just add it. It's, in, it's still in underneath business that's now um, letter, what will now be letter C. Um, just one last sentence. Oh. Karen Kay suggested adding electricity to the gazebo. That was, that was what I kind of suggested. And then Ben asked us to try to think of something else. And then one last thing in the, what is now letter D. Ben was really helpful in helping us understand what we should be looking at to focus on for the CIP list. And he specifically said we need to focus on projects that are costing fifty thousand and greater okay. costs. So maybe we can just add one last little sentence um, onto it. Um, that the focus for the CIP is projects costing fifty thousand and greater. And I thought that was really helpful information mm -hmm. to know. So it is. So is it fifty thousand? Yes, the yeah. fifty projects costing fifty thousand and, and greater, and, and that helps us understand, you know, what magnitude we're needing to focus on our requests from the CIP. Yeah. Um, okay. And um, items from the board. The 
I'm okay with the number one week, actually, with this. Everyone has a lot of days. But I wanted to make sure. Is, is, um, is what I've shared with the board. And, and the, the very last part of um, 8B, but news of the accident, just in case you remember that Alice was a bad driver, that's not quite accurate. Okay. <laughs> I really so don't. she really was a bad driver? <laughs> she, no, she was a very good driver. But the historic so news never said that she was a bad driver. Oh, okay. Only recently has, you know, people, assume. people have been saying, oh, oh she they made this assumption. Okay. I, and I just don't want to mistake that. Yeah. <laughs> there, there is nowhere. And so in, if you'll read my historian's comment, and, and this is because I want everyone to see it. Anyone who says that she was a bad driver is incorrect and then it's just circulating. Right. Okay. But, you know, there is no information printed in historic newspapers that suggests that so there's no historic information that ever suggests that okay i guess i just want to be clear about that i don't ever want to this should i just say theory. anyone who might think yeah anyone who might think and we don't even talk about somebody but, saying it um yeah i mean it just yeah i just because don't i don't but i just don't want when it says that news of the accident precipitated her I, I thought, oh, where is that? But how would that be taken? And I don't know how you might have received that when you read that. But anyone might I doubt. Anyone who might doubt that Alice is a good driver. Would be incorrect. Yeah. However, you want to do it. Okay. But, but there is absolutely no historic information, no historic newspapers that, that suggest that. All There's that, no documentation. All, There's no all that all that came out was facts. just a, a report that there was the accident yeah. that happened. That was it. There was no scuttlebutt. And it can happen to anyone. So we just take out the last part of that. That's what I did. Is that? Yeah, that's what I did. Whatever. Last part of what? So we just take out, but news of the accident precipitated a rumor that Alice was a bad driver. Just take that part Yeah, that's what I just struck out. Okay, now that's not Okay, so. Yeah, that's what I think, aside from that, the, the suggestion to select a date that is now right now 8C, I think that should be 9 because that was future agenda items. Oh, did I skip? Oh, there's C. Okay. So, so oh, wait a minute. I'm we're under 8E is right now. Oh, uh -huh. that actually should be number 9. Is that what 9 is the future agenda yeah, items? Ideas. Oh. And that's where I brought that up. Oh, that's your I see what you're saying. I'm sorry. This should actually be number nine. Okay. Because yeah. number nine was the future agenda items. So oh, future agenda oh so we do have one future agenda item, right? And, and, yeah. Yeah, and then, then it shuffles down to ten. Yeah. Okay. Is adjournment. yeah, and adjournment now is, is ten. Is yeah. Okay. Is in the agenda. So. I don't believe I said anything on the, under 8D. I don't think I said anything about EDK sitting out that thing. You know. Okay, maybe I guess that it was you. Did anyone say that? Well, I or did, read I, it. <laughs> did I? Did I dream it up? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I read it. Now here, I brought it again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that y'all got to Karen. 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 So Karen, yeah, it, okay. just, just her her it was, oh. it was mailed. It was mailed to me and Maureen here, here of the Callahan House, and the thank you was to Karen and Maureen and just, you know, just wanted to thank you both again for so much of your wonderful program at Calhoun House giving to our community of Founders Day members. So there's Karen that read it and then it's not. But. Okay. Okay. Um, Alice Hoffman, well, I'll just say to the board. Should I say to the board or a thank you card to you and Maureen? Okay. No, we, we would do, do that to be more board. diplomatic. Yeah, it'd be much because I thought it was too important. Yeah. Because technically that's what we're representing anyway. Okay, yeah. anything else? Can I have a motion for approval of the minutes as corrected? <coughs> I move we approve the minutes with corrections. Okay. I'll second. Mm -hmm. And second morning, second it. All those in favor? Aye. Anybody opposed? We're saying it is. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Okay. 
what did I say? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> uh, create a new one. Okay, well, number four, public invited to be heard. All right, is no one from the public, so we can get, get past that. We're on the old business. Um, the first item is a digitized scrapbook. On hold currently until we are moving forward with the video. Great. Okay, it's perfectly consistent. Uh, and the updated video. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so the RFQ that was in last month's meeting went out. Um, we've gotten two of the three quotes back. Um, they're due April 15th. So at that point, then you know, we'll review. Um, and we're, I reached out to Pam Roding, who's been helping from purchasing within the city, that's been helping with this to see exactly what the review process needs to look like and who can be involved with that. So we'll figure that out and we'll get the last few quotes back here in a few days and then we'll go from there. Carry on. Sorry, so. I was scrambling. I was uh, scrambling and scribbling. I didn't hear how you have, you got some RFPs in. Yeah, you guys we, we put out three proposals. requests for quotes. We've got yeah. two of them back in. Okay. Um, the final one is due April fifteenth. Okay. And um, I'm just waiting to hear back about what the review process should look like. Okay. okay. And then Great. We'll go from there. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Candy Club Affair. <clears throat> We're meeting um, following this meeting. Um, upstairs today and the goal today will be to take a look at um, the list of groups that we have identified and found information on as far as who we want to send invitations to and to take a look at our letter that we want to send out to the groups we want to invite and then there also should be a public letter that we need to compose as well and it won't necessarily go out in the form of a letter or it will go out in the form of a letter and an email because in the past I've found that people lose letters yes. you end up sending an email anyway so we'll probably right. do it both ways That's good. a formal way and then informally through emails okay. I did run off enough of these that um, I can hand them out to each of you um, so you have some idea of who we've identified, and uh, if you have any suggestions of additions, you can let us know. It would be helpful if you had a, a connection yeah, or a contact. Okay, is that, is that good? Did you get one? Oh. Okay, contact person, uh, anything like that. Um, these are alphabetized, and they are uh, identified by the green ones that have quite a bit of updated information that I think we can move ahead with. And then the white ones are uh, lacking some information that we need to either follow up on or um, investigate further. Okay. Um, there are, I think, upwards of 60 something groups on, the, on here. There are some that I, I chose not to put on Purposely, for example, like Sunshine Club. Sunshine mm -hmm. Club invites people right. to join up. No. So they would have no purpose or right. no reason to be a group that we would invite to um, share their information with the public. PEO is pretty much the same as right. well. So the PEO groups are not on here. Um, Brittany, the groups you gave me um, that meet here are on here. Um, because we'd like to include them and make sure that they uh, know that they can participate to them. Well, yeah, we're members. Yes. So, um, I, I would like to have us ready with the communication to send out by the next meeting. I know you guys would like to approve of it. Um, so that would be the goal, to have that done. And communication being the announcement to everyone or the invite? Both. Both. Okay. That's what she said. Both. Because mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, it's time to do that. Some groups may not meet during the summer, um, but I think if we contact via email, they're always in contact with that kind of thing. Right. So if they're interested, whoever's going to get that email is going to make it happen, basically. Yes. So it's not going to be a whole group. 
So, any questions? If you have any info on some of these that aren't fully um, completed, please let us know. Okay. Hey. Okay. Thank you, Candy. Will be helpful. Uh, on to the club selection criteria. I think that's secure. You all receive that in the yes. And um, so you can just meet here at the house on Tuesday, March 19th at 10. And uh, this is the list that uh, resulted from that meeting. It's um, for everyone to consider and if there's anything additional that you want included, uh, you can do that. If this is something you would like to do during this board meeting, you can do that, or if you would like to schedule for another committee meeting, um, I guess like some direction, what would you prefer? Okay. What is, what's your pleasure? What do you think? Do you want to discuss this now, or do you want to kick it to another, to a I think we discuss it now. Because I think it's very thorough, and I think we can just move right through it. It's and, very thorough, yeah. And um, to take it back to another um, meeting. What more? Oh, I just didn't yeah, know exactly. Which, I didn't know which one to do today. Yeah. So, so, yeah, if we could, I would prefer to just. I agree, just to kind of move things along. Um, does anybody have other comments um, in regard to the criteria itself? And I thought it was very well thought out i think we need to discuss number one mm -hmm. um yeah of course that is in the deed but it's moving not, forward equitably it's not meant to be exclusive i just yeah. want you to know but i do because it is in the deed it does need to be listed it doesn't exclude any club it just doesn't does it mean well, it just it's just, it, it's just prioritize a women's club over okay. another club well, that kind of goes to the, um, the balance. And um, as you'll see in, in thoughts down here, consider a priority percentage of the above criteria. Um, for example, maybe we want 75% of the clubs to be women's clubs. And maybe we want 25% to be other clubs. Numbers. Hmm? I would not use percentages. Percentages or numbers okay. that are, I would be cautious about such a thing. Yeah, okay. <coughs> So, but there, there needs to be something that, that gives us direction on how to um, make sure that we're balanced, yet staying true to the gift. And, and, yeah, and li how do you, really, how do you put that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only way to do that. And, and those numbers, they, they would be meant to be more like guideposts rather than. Absolutely static, and we definitely we, we cannot do that. It's more of a let's try to make sure that we are staying true to the gift by having the majority of the clubs be women's clubs, and others can be mixed in whatever dinner event or whatever. And it, it it may be that that doesn't necessarily need or might not have a place to be stated here as an actual criteria. I think given the fact that it's all women's clubs now and that will likely continue to happen naturally the nature the nature of it i think will lend yeah. itself well, to, to be women's or primarily women's yeah. clubs so i, I mean <clears throat> the only thing I, could, I would be concerned about kind of thinking from the legal city standpoint or what what could be said is if there's not a problem now, as far as you know, we're, we're having men's primarily men's clubs come in, then I just I don't want to set us up for being questioned when it's not necessary. I mean, it's one of those things we can adjust. We can adjust this in the future yeah. if we find that that is a problem. Yeah. Um, I just be the wording is it's slightly. Concerning, and I understand where it comes from, and I don't disagree with it for sure myself. But I'm just—I don't know—I I don't have a really good answer for you guys. I'm just 
Could something be said to the fact that while the gift, while the house was given as a gift to the city to be used by the women of the city, we are an equal opportunity facility? I think there's a way to include, you know, to wording down the original deed to say this is, you know, or just include that wording to say this is, you know, exactly what you're saying. This is where the house was given. And that's it, it's just stated there, but there's nothing in the actual criteria that's been created now that states that women's clubs are preferred or prioritized. So it, you know. So it's not written. <laughs> it's not a policy we, here. We currently, I, I'm inclined to ask this question of our attorney who's right now, I'm, it, I like him, please. <laughs> he's, he's really responsive for us and has been I would say very reasonable in the way he looks at, at things like this, mm -hmm. and just you know get his opinion. He may he may say you know that's absolutely fine, and, and I, I think it's very possible. So I, I and, but then again, I'm always reluctant to. I want to send that up to attorneys. Right. To, I mean, honestly, it's it's. I I understand where you're going, but I also think that I think we should hold true to why the house was deeded to us is just like the citizens of Longmont built the senior center for the seniors when we don't have the youths go in there. It's it's a simple statement and we women tend to be an underserved population still. And so I don't think that is a negative. I, I agree with you and that's where I wonder if that's where I kind of think he might just say I think that's fine based on exactly what you said, which I agree with 100%. So, um, so, so there is no legal, potential legal issue if I mean, we're not going to hear not, a little bit from the original. Um, well, I, if we think we, we think we might be okay just mentioning that it's there in the deed. Well, but I think it's important, like we it, talked about. I think it's right. important that we do <clears throat> at the same time. I mean, my opinion would be if we if we actually actively tried to exclude mm -hmm. whatever group, it wouldn't hold up. No, no. That would, right. uh, but I think we all know that. We're not doing that. Yeah, I don't think we've ever done that. Right. We are being very nice. That is one way of honoring that and not being any kind of legal problem if we don't adhere to the original it, it acknowledges it but then maybe as you said Tandy um, but we are open to all I mean I like the way you phrased it yeah you know, however you it said included it. it but it explained that we are yeah it's part of our history so definitely right. Right. you want people to know that how it came to be mm -hmm. why they gave it to the city. Uh -huh. Yeah, because that's I mean that, that's another part of it was to serve the community. You know, mm -hmm. so maybe that's a little bit. I mean, hinting toward getting into bigger pictures, there there are gyms that are just for women. Mm -hmm. There are places that are just for women, and that's okay. That is the legal thing to do. And so, I I think I might be creating more out of this than there really mm -hmm. is. Um, I just for me. I kind of want to just check and just check with Jeremy. I wouldn't hurt to check with Jeremy. I can't and see it, the downside. There have been attorneys who I worry about. I'm not as worried about Jeremy. I feel like he's been really responsive. And again, our attorneys are our advisors. Right. I keep that real clear yes, with all good of us. Point, good point. Not our bosses. So. I'm sure that. Well, I don't know. Have you seen this? Have you seen the mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And. If I that was challenged in court, all seen, it would yeah. not hold. Well, right. Have you all seen in my this? opinion, I, but I, again, I was going to say I'm not so sure, but but when a, when a just like um, for a nonprofit who receives um, funds for a specific use, the, the nonprofit is required to use those funds for that specific use. Yes, to mingle those funds. Correct. Right. Similarly, yeah, and that's yes. where I'm coming from. From is intended that we for that. 
I don't think if I, and I don't like getting an argue, yeah, argue with don't. you because I'm on your side. So. <laughs> yeah. But, well, but okay. what, I guess, what I guess I'm saying is the reason it's listed is because we're staying true to the history of the house and the gift and true to the recorded warranty deed. And it is a piece of criteria. It does Absolutely. not exclude. Absolutely. And that, so, I, that's the overriding yes, point. I think I just, is, right, is right there. I think that's for. Well, I, I, think yeah. I think there's, two, see, there's a couple there. of ways that we could handle this. I mean, we could put part of the criteria. And then in addition to that, what we could do is we could state exactly um, above it. Um, maybe the the wording that he wrote in that letter that the the men have their clubs the the women the children have their their playgrounds the women should have maybe we could state that as kind of like the picture of the post um at the top of the application that could be and maybe maybe we do that and then we take it out of the criteria per se yeah i think so have it have it listed. The women's club isn't a piece of criteria, but it's mentioned. It's Here's the original yeah. use. Yeah. But all are welcome. You know, just like that. So it's so maybe we reward that number one to, but, to yeah. Yeah. some yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I, and I'm not against it's a thought. the way number one does. Does. I, I, See, I'm not against number one either. I think it's not that if no, I, I then they be. are not allowed. <laughs> so that's not right. there. It's yeah. a this this criterion is consistent with the gift of the house as stated in the recorded warranty deed. Which I thought was good. And again, what a, in the note below, the criteria will be weighted in a point system, 0 and 5, and like a rubric, and for each question. So just because they may not meet any one particular set of, you know, piece of criteria does not exclude them right. from being a club to, to use the house. And no. just, if, if we ever got into a point of, all right, we have Apple and Apple and um a full house and okay how how do we choose between the two and i just i don't think that we'll ever get to that point well but maybe, if we did we might we might have oh, this is just mad water people coming right. yes, right yes, saying so i to, want to be a club here right <laughs> i'm positive yes but it Wait, just gives us those guidelines about how to go about it well let me let me Throw it the idea that whether this is the exact or you know, make some adjustments. I think the general idea of it, um, with the Jeremy, and we'll have an answer right away. And I'll right. get that back to back to you, and you can disseminate that and and just make some adjustments for next month if needed. And I don't think right. again. I, I, I think we're, I think we're fine. I think we're okay. My gut tells me, but I only thought about this first one is it's not like personally, it's not clear to me. That a non women's club is still welcome. Yeah, so I think okay. okay. that so should we could, be. That so should we could, still needs to be made more. You're right. That so we could state that then. Yeah. I, you know, yeah, I think yeah. it just needs to, a, to, a club, to be. A club other than a woman's club is this still is welcome. Name. Yeah. And, yeah. Because yeah, I don't want to say a non woman's club, but I want to say a club other than yeah. a specific woman's club For is also still club. welcome. Yeah. We'll and even thinking about like our newest book club. They happen to be a group of women. I don't think that that's necessarily that they were exclusive to that when they were creating this group. So if they end up having, you know, somebody else that wants to join them, right. knowing that they can do that, you know, just by right. things like exactly. that too. So you're right. It, it, that should be acknowledged. There are a lot of clubs that are on this current list that are male and female. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's not read okay. That, yeah, okay. Anything else on this list that you want to? I thought it was really well thought out. And it mm -hmm. came up with a lot of things we didn't even occur to me. I, one of my concerns was that our current clubs are all grandfathered. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. <clears throat> that they don't have to reapply. Right, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I would not see that that way. And so the objective here is just for going forward. And yeah. Thank you for clarifying that thing, but because I just take that as a given. I... And, um, and then there was also discussion about um, thinking of what companies are, are looking for for um, um, awarding grants 
to nonprofits and and anyway, um, that's something for another, I guess, committee meeting just to talk more about how we can um, be prepared mm -hmm. uh, when, because as we're selecting or as we're including clubs into the house, hopefully um, a lot of that will help cover the many different areas that companies are looking to um, support. So, so do we want to um, set a date for that? So I think that it might get wonderful for the song of our Do you want to set a date for that? Would that helpful? Shall we get the women forward? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's do that. Sorry. Huh? Just, I like this such. And, and if it's not on the calendar, it's going to happen. That's and again, yeah. to, to be clear, it, it would be the, the meeting would be held here at the house. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. What would what, what, you suggest is there you met with Cindy, right? And I should yes. have been and you spoke to yeah. yeah. oh, Do you want to meet in this month or do you uh, what how uh, what do you think? Like is next week at that for some kind of good time or Or is it for us to be here on Friday? Typically, yes. Okay. Just depends on what's going on in the house, but right. um, I know we're supposed to try and stay away from the Try and stay away from the Wednesdays because that's a good season. Wednesdays are yeah, yeah. usually okay. it just, I mean sometimes we can fit it in, but um yeah, are you looking at the nineteenth? Um usually I can't make that, but if oh. everyone else is there then or is Thursday. Okay, okay just say or is, or is Thursday better? Yeah, can't do Thursday. Okay. More time on on the nineteenth. Mid morning, like ten p.m. Well, somebody said she can't make the nineteenth. So. so yeah, how about then the following week? Um, how is either um, Tuesday or twenty third? Um, Tuesday, I can't make that. I'm sorry. Okay. And some Wednesdays could be possibilities if that's like on the 24th, we've just got the group upstairs, so this space is open. I could actually do Wednesday the 24th. Okay, Cindy, how is that for you? Yes, I can do that. Okay. Pretty much any time you can find. Not too early, not too early. So April the 24th at 10 o'clock. Okay. As long as, I, I don't know when my sister's coming in that day. She's supposed to come that day, but I don't know that yeah. So yeah, no. Okay. Anything else on the club selection criteria? Or are we good with that? Okay, let's move on to the Callahan House Membership Program. Uh, so yeah, this is the same um, framework that went out previously. The addition of patrons is the probable name. Um, so, but otherwise, it's just open for discussion unless we want to discuss today or if anybody has thoughts. Well, I purposely left off. Friends of the Library, Friends of the Museum, because I included uh, whatever we decide we are. <laughs> right. As, so we can solicit okay. people to become patrons of the mm -hmm. so. Well, are we okay with patrons of the Calhoun House? Should we just go ahead and make that set? I like it. I do too. Mm -hmm. The Calhoun okay. House pa patron, patron, patron. I mean, it's it kind of written to it. Yeah. Was it patrons, patrons of, of or Calhoun House patrons or what's the? I like I like title. the beauty of patrons of the Calhoun House. Patrons of, I think there's yeah. just something eloquent about it. Patrons, patrons of Calhoun House. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. Are you okay with that? So good with that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just agree. I think we all agree. We agree. We all agree. Let's go. 
Okay. That we got something done. Yes, we accomplished <laughs> it. something. And it, and this isn't a critical piece. It's not like something's going to happen yeah. three months yeah. from now. You know. Yeah. yeah. So, so we can continue to consider it. But do you want to work on it or? Yeah. Has the committee, the committee or? Or? So do we want to discuss whether specifically whether it's patrons of Callahan House or Callahan House patrons? Or Patrons of the county. Patrons of the county. Okay. Yeah. Everybody in agreement? That's okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. okay. Um, I just think maybe if we set a meeting um, outside of our board meeting to, to flesh this out a little more. So a task meeting? Right. right. Yeah, a task meeting. Sounds good. Is that something that we could double up on another meeting? So why not? Yeah. We could. We could piggyback off of We could the piggyback off of the criteria. criteria. Or could if you'd like. like. Yeah. That works for me. Okay. Because that's my good. schedule's kind of fine. Well, that's good. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. And if we're kind of thinking of a timeline and thinking of consideration of Brittany in the summer and things things coming up. Right. right. Maybe from our end. This, if, if we can kind of have our framework set, then we can get, get going on this right, yeah. towards the fall, right? And yeah. get something set up so that, so that for twenty five we're rolling with it, right? Well, something like that. Something like that. It's not do do we it's want to be able to, to actually kind of push this out when we do the the um, club affair, club affair yeah. and have it somewhat combined? I think we have I think the we can, it's a goal, so we it can be people, a slow roll, sure. Yeah, so we have the ability to sign yeah. people up for uh, it at that event. This is what we're working for. I, I would say certain. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to slow anything down like that. Um, I think if we can have that criteria, we can do a, we can do a little bit of work, make sure we've got a little bit of formalization with it. Right. Um, but as far as us looking to roll it out in kind of a bigger scheme, yeah. I would think towards fall for yeah. us. But, Could but we do a, a, it's, a, it's a soft opening. So yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Soft opening. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. We're pretty much here. Yeah, yeah. So. and I, I think okay. this is really good. Okay. Awesome. All right, great. Okay, moving on. Uh, the item F, auto house revamp. Any um, news? Tables are here, chairs are coming. Um, storage, Kevin came and, and is working on a quote for a potential storage unit inside the auto house. Um, there may be another option, we may or maybe look, not. We may look at a, at a the possibility of an additional shed outside on the other side, so one that would really would add a different visual. Behind the current garden so, shed? Which also Just has potential dual I like that. It's positive nice purposes. Well, it's a big enough. Well, potentially also cutting down on that space that's been used as a homeless encampment. Um, so potential dual purpose, purpose there. So, so, so um, it is it is because it's been being used as a that's, I mean, it has been. The little corner. Yeah, just because it's such a it's hidden right. spot. Right. So, so that's a, an idea that's come up. Um, we would need to pave a path in order to get the dollies mm -hmm. in and out of that spot. Um, the other idea is I had a meeting with Parks the other day, and they don't really use much of the current garden shed. They need a little bit of space for some bags of... of you know fertilizer but otherwise they're not really using much of that it's it's more like winter over overwintering the pots and things like that which mm -hmm. could go below sure. in the auto house they could, they could go in the basement yeah and just have a little bit of space left in the garden shed so that could be another possibility of to still need a paved path either way if the shed or a so new shed is being used some be cost it. but it would be a whole lot more cost we'll see, we'll and some, what Kevin comes up yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think what's kind what of, the of it is. get the full information for all three potential options. Um, there's still, you know, there's some cleaning out costs. The tables and chairs are are resin and plastic, so we don't we don't necessarily need to be insulated or kept at temperature. Um, so kind of weighing all those options, but Kevin is working on a quote for the storage unit currently. And aside from whether or not a storage unit goes in there, a little bit of 
revamping as we're calling it, you know, just in the bathroom and kitchenette area and mm-hmm. use a little bit of updating. That's not the word, but what, kind what, of. what about the floor? I know there's so, floor. Yeah, floor. repair to the floor, to, you know, a few things that need done in there. Okay. And, you know, maybe some rearranging and things like that, but kind of want to figure out what's going to go on with the space before we plan any of that too far. Great. So, so is the thinking that. I, maybe I misunderstood, but I thought that the tables and chairs were all going to be stored inside a okay. newly built kind of cabinet that would ni- look nice inside the last house. Correct. Right. So it's, it's, that, it's, yes. it's one forward. of the options. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, so, um, so we're not doing that and then also doing an outside. No. Okay. No. Um, I think what my only hesitation options? about doing another building outside of the auto house is that it does actually obstruct the view of brick building and I know that it's rare when people are out there and actually back in that area but I'm talking about just behind the garden shed right here and yeah yeah and I think that that that's just a little piece of me that thinks you know every time we put something in front of the auto house it blocks yet more of this historic structure and I don't know that I'm excited about that idea for two reasons one you can't see the structure anymore and then two you really can't see the structure and maintain it anymore you know like what we're going to do with repointing um, the bricks yeah. so I so, hesitate on wanting to put anything more built outside of the auto house and this kind of came up before speaking to parks and finding out how much of the current garden shed space could be available. Yeah. So maybe that's yeah. you know, a very, very plan C. So we'll wait for Kevin's quote and then discuss yeah. it. Plus yeah. Yeah. Bring it back here. Right? Yeah. yeah. And probably get a quote for like paving to the garden shed and, right. and what that would, you know, I think it sounds right. like it's more of those two options at this point. Exactly. Seeing what those look like. Yeah. And he, so. with his quote, he's going to do a little um, design, right? Like. A kind of a yeah example yeah. so that you we can see, see what you're getting yeah if it's going to be inside the auto house it'll right. look like so yes, and you want to see it. something like so, yeah some sort of um floor yeah. plan yeah we like to redesign it design yeah yeah to be sure part of it so okay yep okay that's what I'm thank doing. you for the update sure I, I'm sorry I I kind of felt rushed through the the last one I wanted to clarification when we're working on this for the about the mem- the membership program oh, are we doing are we literally setting up a piece of a documentation or a document that would be an application for somebody to be part of the patrons when they're doing that my take is that we're working toward that we're not we're not going to we're not the solidifying all that it's it's a soft it's a soft we're moving on okay yeah. Yeah. okay i'm sorry we're not, so that's it. fine to Absolutely. have a clarification sure. in our mind on what we're working on. I think it'd want to be, I don't know, I mean, the idea is somebody is becoming like a regular donor, right? So probably something where they can sign up online. Mm-hmm. Not so much an application because we're not going to be reviewing and saying no. Yes. Yeah, anybody, you can but, write it. But it would be yes, something online. Like that that but yeah. Yeah. Um, we can send them, send them someplace. So yeah, it yeah. would indicate yeah. uh, there's an opportunity to join this. We're working on fleshing out the program entirely. Mm-hmm. I don't but think it's not we there. put anything out there until it is, you know, until we're really ready. Solidified. Yeah. But so what um, is a soft roll-off then? Mentioning well, I, the program? The I, would, I would love to have, us have something, you know, close to right. I mean, it's, this yeah. isn't I this think is we can have it interesting. Ready to go. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's putting pretty it much online there. form together. Okay. By so that is cohesive. Yeah, I think it's doable. At that point, maybe if we find out that there's some tweaks that need to be made after, then we like do that. But I think it can be ready to go for. Yeah, it could be pretty cool. So, so yeah. we'd say this is the program, and yeah, um, this is what it involves. Yeah. It's a membership yeah. program. Yeah. You, you donate, this and here the, are the, the first good opportunity to get the get the word out. Yeah, yeah, and and could we have a possibility that people could sign up at the time? Because not everybody. I'm just thinking of my the people I have to deal with. They don't always deal with everything online. So is there is there an option that they can sign up? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could probably yeah. either have like a I'm interested form in so we just get their information. We can send it right. later, or we might even be able to be set up with a station where we can just send okay. it. Okay, that would be great. But, um, yeah, okay. I'm sorry to I think it's pretty much here. Jump it's back just kind of like getting I didn't feel like you know, that was sure. completely flushed. Something so. into something presentable and, and deciding, thank you, how we want to. Make it of interest to people. Thanks so much, Brittany. I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're no. It's good. it was good that we flushed that out a little more. Okay. Anything else on any of those? No. We will move on. This. Sorry. No, you're fine. UV protection uh, for the windows and the the library drapes, etc. Um, we got a quote that's been accepted uh, by from Scottish Glass. Yay. So that's being paid, and then as soon as it's it's a, like a half payment. Okay. As soon as it's paid, then they'll schedule the time. Um, so we'll have Empire. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope, that's a check. Just okay. Right. Um, Empire okay. come out to take the storms off so that the film can go on the interior of the storm windows. Um, and and then they'll replace those for us. Scottish Glass is doing the work. They think they can get it done in a day. Um, we're not doing every single window in the house. Right. So um, right now, basically everything that's south facing this window, um, the the main window in the parlor. They're not doing like the kitchen windows. Yeah. Um, so anything that's getting a lot of sun exposure or that's just kind of a main mm -hmm. window in general, prominent. we can always add more later. Um, the film is clear, so it's not going to change the look of anything, so you're not going to know which ones are done and which ones aren't. Right. Um, and it basically, because we're a commercial building, they can't actually give a lifetime warranty, but basically it, it lasts okay. forever. So, I know that company. I'm so which, glad. Yeah, thank you. I did too. I'm so glad yeah. that so, yeah. That's yeah, it's nice. They do great work. It's it's great. Great. And I, I love the work that they're having. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank yeah, you. we're excited about yeah. that time. Yeah. Um, and the library drapes. I don't know if you're yes. able to talk to. Um, actually, I'm so, going to be talking with her tomorrow, so great. I will have more to update you. Okay. All right. All right. I apologize for you talking to me. That's okay. Oh, um, She's the um, yeah. house manager who has made those drapes. Okay. About the potential of making um, it a little bit thinner for us, like yeah, 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 so that you can see more of the window. Reducing, keeping them kind of period mm -hmm. appropriate, yeah. but reducing the yeah. amount of cover yeah. fabric. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll move on to age, future restoration, and preservation. The list everybody got. The package is updated with where everything currently stands. Um, so I think the idea was to see if there's, so that the uh, pre-pointing is, you know, gonna be submitted for CIP again. Um, if there's any other major projects that you want to submit for that, or little things just to, I mean, there are things that are already, you know, kind of on our radar, but any other larger projects. Although there was some talk did, about if- Did I talk to you about 20, so 2029? Things for PDF 145. Right? Um, well, or for CIP. Well, specific oh. PDF 145 is a CIP. Okay. That one is four to five years in advance. So yeah. You can. I, I need stuff by Monday. Like now, yeah. And so figure out exactly what you need five years from now by Monday. Don't worry about it. You really didn't need sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think there was also some thought about. You know, we've been submitting the repointing. Yeah. Maybe if that gets submitted by itself, it might get approved. It, we were, we have been told, I was just at a meeting last week. Oh. And we were essentially told, don't, don't put anything in. And that doesn't count the stuff. Don't put anything have. in with that or? Don't put anything new okay. in so, this year. Okay. So oh. the, the, the pointing will go in. I'll update it, I'll update the cost. Yeah, okay, I'm saying that's the only thing. That's, that's the only thing we have yeah, right okay. now. Recreation. With, um, did you get the updated? I reached out to Kevin and he reached out to, no, we basically no, we're yes. not yet. Not yet. Okay. I don't, that's not Monday. But, no, but, yeah. Yeah, but, but that bit will get in us before it has to be submitted by the end of April. Right? It's, it's, I think it's May, well, it's, it's May 3rd because I have April, Hawaii, and May 6th. So. Ooh. 
um, May third is the date for that one. I need to put that in that number. There, technically, there will be some fudge room on that for just a number, and they'd love to have that number Chris, checked right. yeah. by then. And the like urgency level yeah. is there yeah. that he's trying to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. So that's where I stand. So yeah, if you can come out, just look. I don't know however much we've asked for here for the last few years, which I feel like is ten, fifteen thousand ish. Uh, for pointing. No, no, no. Per, I'm talking about PDF 145. So projects, small projects. Okay. So just ask for ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of something. Okay. The key with this particular fund is that. Yes, we recommend that it's five years in advance. You know, things change. So, but you want to come up with things that you know you believe you may need. But we know that if we come to that day and something else has become pressing, we can't adjust those dollars pretty easily. As opposed to like a pointing CIP, which is that that's a different. That's created as a fund, as public building fund. And so it's very. Specific. It's the one that we. I mean, we survive on the recreation. We, we, we spend some. So, and things change. Yeah. So, and we've gotten Callahan House involved the last, whatever it is, three, four, five years. So, we're just to sure do that. What it is is not that important. I don't even need explanations. It's basically a dollar. Yeah, I need a new freezer. Yeah. I need a new freezer mm -hmm. for $5,000. Okay. And if we end up using it on something else, though, it's okay. 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 And that's so yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of this work. Yeah. So if anything stands out to anybody, I mean, I you know kind of got some ideas here. The things that are in progress yeah, are probably going to be do you, the do ones you, that we would. I was going to say, do you have something in mind already, or you, you want to take a little time? I mean, I've got a I've got kind of an ongoing list of potential PB one forty five stuff. Mm -hmm. um, most of it. Is here some things that we've talked about, um, like the, the fountain and uh, Bacchus and Venus statue restoration, uh, restoration of the stained glass panels. You know, those have some broken pieces. Um, there's the, the I don't want to call it foundational issue, but the stairway and wall being stripped out. Um, what was the one before? Yeah, and those are all kind of. In uh, there's are listed here as in progress because they're things that we've talked with yeah, Empire right. about, or you know, you could just say items from the project the restoration and preservation. Yeah, okay, that's, there's you know, from the yeah. so the ceiling was repaired here, but there's some the wall potentially. Yeah. Need, you know, there's issues, no uh, shortage. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> put those things in and the other thing that we that we do so so there's I don't know what, what Callahan House is for twenty five or twenty six on yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But if you know if this becomes a priority we could do that next year knowing that now in twenty nine the money that we were gonna use towards this can go for something else. So, right. so yeah. they're they're it's a really flexible fund and we just have to check with funding and yeah. sure they know what we're doing. Like, this year we we're talking, I mean, the tables and chairs, I think got mm -hmm. designated that was, as that. And we're that trying to also get some string lighting in the garden for mm -hmm. summer events. Nice. Um, so things like that that we're working on that will probably be that money for 2024. Um, the only thing that I have to say from looking at the list, um, I did call for your attention downstairs, the carpenter area on these issues. Reference. Yes, and those are um, being the, those were investigated and are being kept an eye on. I guess they're just watching them. Say. Yeah. Okay. There, so there's no. There's no major. Um, <laughs> well, I guess no <laughs> they're, major they're there, right? panic. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, I, I, I just wanted to call it to your attention. Yeah, should that be something that should be listed. That um, there, I think there's, it's. On here somewhere, actually. We're not, we're not, see, we're not seeing signs of like. Right no, it right looks now, like right? something that had been, you know, that had maybe been an issue over time, but they're going to be keeping an eye on. Okay. So they, they weren't concerned about it being 
something that I just didn't know if it was something that needed to be repaired or, or you know, yeah. When you look, anything creepy crawly in wood oh, yeah. bothers me. Yeah. Or, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just didn't like when <laughs> that shouldn't be there. Should not be holding. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. That's sure, that makes sense. I'm just saying. <laughs> Structure and your wood being solid is always yeah, good. I, yeah, I can't remember if I added that to this, so it can just be like a general on a general maintenance. If, if we could put it on the general maintenance, yeah, that, that would be, be amazing. I didn't read it, that's the only reason why I'm bringing it yeah, up. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I hear the yeah, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It does. But, but if you know about it, it's, it's you can fix it. If you don't, you yeah. Yeah. Can't do yeah. Anything. Don't, don't forget about it. Anything else, anybody? We're going to move on. Okay. We're going into new business. The date for the uh, the tea, the annual tea. So, uh, last year's tea was October 1st. So, the fall seems to be a good time because we can do a recap of the year and share with um, past board members and city council members um, the accomplishments of, of the year. So, that was a Sunday last year. Yes, it was a Sunday. How do y'all feel about having another Sunday? Tea, and do you want to do another October thing? I like the fact that it's a Sunday, so it doesn't interfere if we have other events occurring. Um, I don't know why they would do that. Uh, it's a bit first Sunday in October is the 6th. There's not a whole lot of, uh, yeah, whole lot going on in October at, yeah. at this point. So. Right. Shall we write with October the 6th? We can adjust if we need to, as we prepare. Yeah. That's two ten tentative dates. Tentative date. Yeah. I just like the fact that it's, it's if you can, if something wonderful comes up, then they can, you can use that Saturday or Friday or whatever. Right. Yeah. 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 At least you have a tentative. What were the times <clears throat> that we should just find that we do? This is why I haul this thing. There we go. See, I know you bring it. I'm just saying. I know she's going to do it. I'm going to put the bag in my You know, yeah, just keep the reference. I think it was like a classic. Okay, Balti went from two to four. Okay. Last year. Is that a good time again? Again, it's not meant to be like this whole sit down meal. It's it's a tea. Oh, but it's a good more about yeah. That. So two four still a good time. Yeah. 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 Okay. Do we need to set a committee to get started thinking about that? I think it's a good idea. I do too. I'll be part of it. Okay. You'll be part of it. I'm happy to lead it. Okay. I'd, I'd like to share how that's well, done. To, you've to got like all to, the stuff. Well, I've got all the stuff, yes. yes. Yeah, that way yeah, they can help me mm -hmm. share that information so everybody else So it's probably not critical that we start tomorrow, but um, the sooner the better. to stay within this month to, to meet? Is that the point of it? You know, are we doing that? Are we, are we going to do it? Yeah. Is your April filling up? Yeah. When did we send out invites last year? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 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 Get my left arm work out here. Yeah. This is good. Um, July 24th. Yeah. Okay. We're getting a couple of 
do this so that because that's the feedback we got from colleagues right. that people would like more notice. So um, um, to, to see so, three full months of, of advanced notice. Mm -hmm. So if we meet in May, maybe we meet after our our uh, board meeting for May the eighth. That's so possible. Because we're here. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, so upstairs at least get it get yeah. it outlined and yeah, yeah. yeah. It will have to be upstairs. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. 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 to the club survey, which we did it, what, last year? Um, yeah, 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 we, we did, did last year. Well, it was, um, so kind of, was it last year? It was 2022, mm -hmm. actually. It was like, 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 like a letter that is just so fast. I so, know, it went by so fast. Yeah. Um, just really, and so, yeah, the, the reason this is on the agenda is I asked it, it kind of came up as a, a, a conversation about when the Cindy and I were talking about the um, criteria, the mm -hmm. cri selection criteria. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, you know what, we, we really need to, we can bring this up to the board to ask, you know, do we need to go ahead and do a new club survey? Um, uh, it, it helps for, for two things. It helps um, with providing information in the um, annual report that goes out to City Council this year um, as far as you know satisfaction of the clubs mm -hmm. and also it um, helps with gathering information uh, about the clubs um, in that it um, again it goes back to the whole gathering of information so that we can show how inclusive we are um, um, for for everyone and there's all kinds of different um, special things about the people and the clubs meeting here at the house that go to benefit the, the community beyond them just having the club meeting in the house. So, and since we have a few new clubs anyway, we haven't- The club and the new PEO chapter. Yeah, we haven't asked them, the both, the both of the PEO chapters that are meeting here. Neither one of them so yeah, they started much as before. before I started. Yeah, so we have a few new clubs. Right. Maybe we need to go ahead and um, do our questionnaire or survey again. I think when out. we originally set up the survey, it was something that we considered that we might do every two years to five years. So right. it was out there. It, it was never, I don't think we ever made a decision on that we were going to do this every whatever. But, um, uh, I agree. I don't know if this is something, I certainly don't think it's something that we have to do on a yearly basis. I, I think this is something that we can kind of do um, every two to three years. I don't know if it's time to do it now. Um, I, I just. My, um input on this is that when we did it last time we there was some resistance people were like oh, no, we'll do it we don't want to deal with that or yeah. everything's fine just leave us alone yeah i got a lot of that yeah everything so good. i don't want to push yeah. it you know doing it too often I guess that's kind of where i'm at i i because there was resistance and um i don't want to be a negative I, I, I want this to be a positive right. and I want to to get um, positive I shouldn't say positive just the positive information. If we, if something's broken we don't know about we can't fix it. Mm -hmm. So right. I think it would be wise to do it every I hate to say every three years, but I yeah, I, I, I think every three years yeah, I got that is, is we do it every three years. Simply 
simply because I think it's good for them to be aware of what the board's thinking as well. Mm -hmm. So that, because it, I do get asked questions, you know, why are you doing this? this right. Type of stuff. Um, but maybe we do want to consider doing it this year because then we can give them a touch base on that we are going to be doing the club um, affair mm -hmm. and let them know that these guys are grandfathered in so there's no hesitation. We can kind of cut any um, proposed thinking, negative thinking off at, at the start. I mean, I've, I've got mixed emotions about the whole thing. Um, I think mixed emotions from the existing clubs about the club affair? Um, no, about doing the survey. Okay. Um, I don't want them to think, I don't want them to think that they have to reapply, that, you know, for, for some reason, um, because we're asking new clubs to join. I, 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 part of me thinks, you know, if we could get me in front of the gossip train um, before the negative theories are thrown out there and they're not accurate. Um, I've got mixed emotions about it. Um, I don't know. What if, um, you know, so this, this is like kind of involved mm -hmm. um, and this only goes out every three years or five years, but you know, we, we send out a club letter every fall. Like this went out in October of 2022. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's just a little reminder in that on an annual basis, like if you have any questions, concerns, feedback, positive or negative, please reach out to blah, blah, blah. And if we want that to be, you know, the board instead of myself or, or whatever, or both, like if you, you know, if you have any feedback, here's where you can put it, but not necessarily requiring it um, to this level on a regular basis. Yeah. I think we need to do it for grant reasons in depth at some point. But maybe I also think that we need to they need to know that they can contact us at any point. Yeah. That's that there's another, you know, people are weird. I, I'm sorry, but people are unique and, and, and different in, in what they feel comfortable in, in reaching out if there's a problem, how they'll handle it or not handle it. Um, so maybe, maybe just a statement that, you know, our board meetings are here. You're invited to come in as a, as a public person to come to our board meetings and hear what's going on. Maybe that's just something that we put in there. We can know. offer that. It might be intimidating for some people, though. They may not want to be publicly okay. discuss things. But I, yeah. 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 So I that's think a, yeah, yeah. very so good point. I, um, okay. I, I don't know. It's okay to put it out there if they don't want to complete it. If they don't have to. I mean, I you know, when I receive a survey. It. When I receive a survey, even if I'm just overjoyed with whatever the service was, you know, and I'm like, you know, it's like another survey now. Okay, well, I'll either go through and go, yes, excellent, excellent, excellent. And then if there's like, is there anything you think of? I will think of something, something positive that I can say, oh, I really specifically like that. Or, and then I'll think of, you know, you might think of adding this. Uh, I mean, I, what, I just did that with my daughter's college, and they, you know, they didn't send on a survey to the parents, and it's right. like, how do you want to do like? And so I put in my little couple of things. Guess what? They've just changed something that uh, is a packet, a care package thing for the students, in part because of what I submitted. I, I was just like, hmm, might want to think of this. Ah, well, and like, so you just yeah. never know, know what somebody might have to say to sure. share. So that it's good to give that opportunity. I think what we need to do is decide what exactly we want from this. If it's for grant purposes, or if it's just for our general knowledge, just to check in and make sure everybody's doing well. I think this could probably be simplified into maybe five questions. I it also, might be easier for people yeah, to not feel right. overwhelmed That's by a it. Good point. I make it easy that it's like a you know a five star system. How satisfied are you? Mm -hmm. I think that's part of it. They just look at it, it and, and say, oh, it's way easier oh, to fill yeah. out. We, yeah. Yeah. Easier to fill in, so so we can go one through eight or, yeah. or something along those lines. Not, yeah. not and if somebody feels like they want to get more in depth, mm -hmm. they have the space to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they don't feel like they have to do it, right? Yeah, that that I think is just one of the things. 
They like meeting somebody from the board. That wasn't an issue. Mm -hmm. It was just, they took one look at this thing and they said, oh, yeah. could we do this later? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then the later and, and, became, this is yeah, 14 open-ended well, we questions. <laughs> is, is yeah, a yeah. lot. A lot. And the reason, yeah, and the reason it was that are, and the reason it was yes, yes, no. was to gather information for grant writing, future grant writing, mm -hmm. um, just so that we had that. Because when clubs are coming in, we can gather that information at that point. Right, right. But going forward, we can definitely have a smaller survey that is just, just And I think easier. you really, you really, so truth, back when we did this, there were some things happening that you guys wanted information on. You felt like things were maybe not being said and you wanted information on. So that's, that was a piece of this pie. So I think a little bit of revamping this, and, and I think maybe some a little bit of the trepidation with it was around yeah. that. And I'm just I'm speculating, but that's what I think. Um, but this is a really nice idea, and I and I, I think we sell it. The way we sell it and get responses say this is to support this facility yeah. and going yeah. forward, and, and that's we really push that, and that's how we get that positivity that. This will help us in the, long in the long run get more dollars to support this facility, and that's it. that's the positive part. So, and, and I think it's a good idea. Pair it down a little bit, some open ended, and maybe some maybe some circle number sorts of things. Yeah. That would be that's my. I, I I agree. I think if we had some more circle number things, people would respond better. And I think they were also intimidated that we, there was going to be backlash if they have anything to, to say. So I think that I, I, I think was that personally told that, that, I think a that lot of the ladies people were like my, intimidated about. I don't want to put my name on this because I'm afraid there's going to be backlash. Mm -hmm. not, not from the board members. Not from, no. To be clear, yeah. not from the board members. And I'm like going, it's anonymous, so right. you don't you have know. to put your name on it. <laughs> I'm not requesting that you do. And it was still, I don't feel comfortable. So I'm like going, okay, but then. Then we went through the surveys that were filled out, and it was pretty much parking mm -hmm. and parking. <laughs> and, and, and I'm like, going, we can't do a whole lot with that. So, you know, we, we can't move the building. <laughs> so that was, yeah. But I do think that, that the clubs will see the, the positive um, aspect of it that this is a way that we can get information to better support help us, help us and help provide us, help us, us help us yeah. maybe us help maybe if we put that in the statement right at the top yeah yeah, yeah. this yeah. is why we're doing this yeah. I, would, I would say let's get it out when we do the annual we do the annual letter let's work around that time that September. so, so it's included October. so they don't feel like they don't feel like they're doing an additional thing right so that's a lot um, when did they actually do fill this out last? Was it 2022? Yeah. 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 I, I would say let's do it this fall. You've got the club affairs, so you've got some, some things happening there that have this happen. 2022 was also right after COVID, yeah. so, so now we're back just, into... Yeah. Wherever our new normal is, right. so a good point. So I, I think it'd be a good time to do it again. Could, couldn't we do it on the yearly sign up thing and, and have it kind of combined? Yeah. Just like the fall mm -hmm. letter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when they redo it and they redo their memberships, it's just part of redoing the membership. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to revamp this. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll another <laughs> I want you to put this one aside. For can we do that? Just we can we can table it. Can table it till um, next month. month? We'll, then we'll put it on the next month's agenda like to set a last meeting. Then okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. Great. Yeah. We'll at least flesh it out a little bit. Yeah. Sure. We're going to be great. Go further into that. Okay. Items from the staff. Anything? Yeah, I've got a few things. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so just following up with this, the oven safety check additional extinguisher. 
Um, we had the, the director of facilities, Larry Alexander, come out um, to inspect just the oven again. You know, we, we had somebody come out and it was asked um, to inspect the extinguisher, extinguisher situation. Um, and they felt like an additional extinguisher was overkill. very much overkill. The hood itself functions as an extinguisher and we've got an additional kind of handheld one there um, just on the back porch. So they felt that the situation was very, very safe and, okay. and good to go. So, okay. so the hood acts as an extinguisher? The hood is an extinguisher. Which I did not know. I so did not know that. Yeah, it's set up that's to just completely. Yeah, yeah. That's great. So that's yeah. one of my questions that I did bring up is when is it on the maintenance list to be yes. maintenance regular? Yes. And to make sure that that's yeah. and my it, big the goal. city does that on their own actually to inspect the hood and then all of that that equipment, but it's also been yes. added to our list also just to make sure that. Cool. It's getting done, so it should be. Good thank, you. On that. Yeah, it's okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, the uh, public service recognition week is, and the board commission reception, like we went to last year, as part of the city council meeting, is May seventh at six fifteen. Um, so if anybody wants to go to that, you are welcome to go and be recognized. And thank you for your public service. I will be on a sunset cruise right then. Well, several hours. Rub, 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 and I, I imagine it's set up the same as last year, where there's a, a small reception beforehand, and then you can join the city council meeting if you'd like to. Yeah. So certainly not required for anyone, but um, do okay. So I spoke in terms of getting the um, Scamhorn book reprinted. I spoke with Jeremy from Legal and um, like hopefully. We can, you know, what we want to shoot for is getting um, the rights to the book from the Scamhorns. I don't know how possible that is or if anyone has contact information. Uh, and if, yeah. So the nephew is the one that's running the show right now. Okay. So um, she is in, she is in care. Care. Yeah, she's she, in care of okay. so, so that they had like the power of attorney situation or I, I someone that we reach so out to. I believe he has power of attorney, otherwise he wouldn't be selling the house or have any ability to do all that. Okay. Um, I don't have his personal contact information, do you? Or a name or anybody that you might be able to let me go on and circumvent to get the contact information yes. from. Basically, we can't. We can't move forward without at least per either permission to acquire rights to the book or to at least do another reprint, which then potentially in future this pushes it down the road. Well, you know, if they are no longer around at some point, being able to get those another reprint right from whoever inherits the estate may or may not exist. So we could maybe get one more printing, but ideally we get the rights to it so that we can reprint continuously. Um, if neither of those things are a possibility, then plan C is we look into creating a new version. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the museum can help with that. Um, maybe it's something that we, and, and it can be, you know, heavily uh, resourced from the existing. <laughs> I like book. the way you put that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. So that's basically is hopefully plan A, we get the rights to the book. I believe her house was sold, so it might be under public records on who handled the sale and where the money went. I would assume that would be under public record. Yeah. Um, would there be contact information there? Well, you can, you can call the Boulder County Clerk and Recorder. Um, you can also do a search um, for names 
and finding properties and so you're going to do it that way tied to the names i've got a couple people that i can ask okay um, we'll, we'll, i'll see what i can come up with and then we'll, we'll go from there so thank you for okay. appreciate it um should we does this need to be added as a Business item, or we'll just inform it how we can. We could put it on. We, can do. we could future, put it on future, future, agenda, future agenda, agenda items, and then we'll see what information we can get, and we'll get it back to you. Thank about you. that. Thank you. Um, and then uh, Fred Goheen, who is maintains the Steinway and is looking for a piano for us, did come up with a couple of options. Um, there's one. Uh, I'm so, I apologize. I didn't print anything, but if you're okay with passing around my phone. There's photos here. Um, one is in Fort Collins. It's listed for free. Um, it's been recently restored. Fred feels like it would be a good option for us. We'd have to pay to get it moved, just like we had talked about, but it is listed for free. Um, there's another one that, just, anyway, here we go. Uh, was listed for 3,000. Um, they're willing to talk about offering it to us for a thousand. They're excited about, you know, it potentially being here at Callahan House. Um, can, we, can we see him? Yeah, uh, and Fred feels like the one in Fort Collins is probably the better option. I think it's less aesthetically interesting, but uh, anyhow, here's the Fort Collins one, if you want to pass that around so you can, you can scroll through the photos left to right. So why does Fred say the one in Fort Collins is? Because that musically, is? it's probably musically. It was recently restrung, and they've both been recently restored. It looks like the one in Fort Collins has been recently restrung. So I don't know, you know, what all the restoration typically takes place, but but that one's been restrung, um, and price wise, it's better price. offering it for free rather than yeah. potentially thousand dollars is the way to go. So. I've reached out to both. I've heard back from both. Um, okay, I'm probably messing with your phone wrong, but I'm only seeing the one in Fort Collins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. The pictures that they wanted in Fort Collins. Yeah. I'm looking at that one, which is, and I actually had his this son is the one. just tune my piano. The one for a thousand. Oh, that's much more aesthetically. Oh, I'll we'll have to. I'm just gathering some carriage inside. Yeah, that's a good question. Just um, getting the dimensions of each will be. Important. Yeah, I remember that we they're both uprights, so they're going to be similar to the last one that we looked at. Right. Um, but yeah, yeah, I remember that the, the, the ideal. Yeah, that one does look more. Two it's feet so feet. pretty, and it, it, it did you see that? I don't measurements were like two feet deep by six feet wide inside by feet high. Stop. Stop. Of course, I'm going to like all of them. My 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 husband will say you always like the feet that are more expensive. Yes, right. I, what height is right? Well, I, I like you. <laughs> Six feet wide yeah. and five feet So there you are. <laughs> there you so those were the ideal positions. Yeah, that's the thousand dollar one. It comes Am back. I going to find the other one if I just keep going? Um, no. If you, I can set it back up for you. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You, 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 they're on two just separate paths. Just everybody so can see the thousand dollar You have to talk about it. Because it's really the prettier one. It's the prettier one. It's it the thousand dollar one. Yeah. But what is you our get what you purpose? <laughs> That's the whole point. And so Fred yeah. says it's the so prettier one. one it's more expensive one. It has been re restored, but it's not from what you can tell, maybe not really strong. So just kind of you're stay. paying a thousand dollars for the pretty, mm -hmm. and what's the cost to restrain that? It's not inexpensive, oh, um, yeah. but we also what are we looking at? I mean, it, what are, are we looking for? Are we looking for the visual aspect of, of it, or are we looking for the tone of it because we want it to be quiet? Well, so both. I was gonna. <laughs> I just gonna say. Well, you can have that. How often is you it going to be played? And exactly, how often is it going to be played versus how often is it going to be viewed? It'll be viewed a whole lot more. Exactly. Often. So we need to be mindful about um, maybe the average year wouldn't notice the difference. And and the reason I'm asking how much does it cost to restring it is we might get beauty in 
and it might just take us a few years to build up the funds to mm -hmm. restrain. Yeah. I, 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 so this is the thousand dollar. And I also think that's one of those things we can get something for a trial and we can pay for it. Right. Um, Candy, did you see this? I saw the three thousand. Okay. Is this this is that? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. This is that. It's just for three thousand, but they they will um, um they come down to a thousand because they don't have it in the calendar. So, so what's the what's the other one? The other one. one. It's, it's one. just like the one in my house. Oh, uh, is it? That one's offered for free. Seriously. Okay, this one. And keep in mind, it wouldn't be a thousand. We'd still have to pay. We'd still have to pay for it. So we're talking more like about fifteen. Something like that, I think, when we looked at moving, yeah, it was probably yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's my little plan. It's the least well, I you know what? Like that, that I'm going to shoot for five. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, it's the right movers, and you can do it for about. You uh, ask Greg right what the cost is. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think yeah. that's yeah. valuable yeah. information yeah. because yeah. if we go with pretty, yes. I like which it does get seen. It gets seen more. It definitely gets seen more than watch. Yes, and they were very much like. We really want it to go somewhere where it's going to be cared for, which tells me that they yeah, care, care for it, right. it, you know, um, and it has been restored. I, I personally and it's like the looks of the pretty one. Uh, oh, okay. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I like that simple look. Oh. I mean, it's already ornate without, just because it is ornate. I don't know. Did you see the, the, the other? I saw it real soon, but I didn't look at all. I, I tend to like the more ornate one because it mimics the turning or uh, of like the pieces that are already here. And that's the wood pieces here have ornate decorative. Well, either one, that are it's not ornate. as plain as I had first thought. Okay, dimensions again. Yeah. Yeah. Back to yeah. what are the dimensions? Yeah. Each. Opinions for you too. I'm thinking so, about my pair. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, in my mind, the piano I have belonged to Dave's grandmother, and maybe even her mother. And that was just down the street by Central Schools where that piano was. It was totally refurbished by Cindy Pillar's brother. Okay. Um, and nobody plays it in my house. TJ, my grandson, I don't know. Oh, on it, right? My girls could care less. That piano is going to go when I'm gone. So what I want to do, and I meant to do it earlier, was get a hold of this piano tuner and have him come to my house and mm -hmm. tell me if I can get the magic marker off the keys. Oh, <laughs> the keys. And tell me what my piano would be in terms of what you're looking for. My concern was, that it looked different from what's sitting in there. It looks just like the, it's the same dimension system. Oh. And it's historic. I mean, it, it, it is. Well, it's yeah, got it's a long, long family. Family. Sure. Yes. It's the and, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it's the Mumfords and, yeah, she was a Mumford. So it is Beth Mumfords and the Townleys who were, he was the treasurer, first treasurer of, of Chicago Colony. So it's got, it's it's got, got a family. huge, to, historic connection that would be but I need to see if it'll clean up and, and there's one key that doesn't work so I want to see if oh, he can be changed and because so would you please send me his info I have his son Matt yes come and do mine so you sent it to me yeah um and you sent it to me restored. Restored. right what it mm -hmm. needs to be restored no it just needs to have that one key checked she wants to make and I need to have the figure out how to get the magic marker off the keys. <laughs> okay. But, but it has about, been restored. It has been restored. Okay. A few years that ago. Was, that was like a big thing that Greg said that we'd want to look for. So it has been restored. Yeah, yeah there's a problem. He was amazing. On, the son, Matt, came into my house and, and worked on my piano. And um, I have a, a chick ring that. Uh, in the 1940s, but um, he he was just fabulous. So, well, I think at, at this point, what I'm hearing is 
those are possibilities, but we would also like to consider what Candy is proposing. I think her channel to have you take a look at info and please want him to come yeah. take a look. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to and that I it's a reconnection of that. Um, yeah. You know, who knows how fast these will go. It's just right. like, yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't know that pianos are flying off the shelf, no. but um, <laughs> you, you never know. Yeah. Um, but I, 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 if somebody gets their heart set on something, they, that's what they want. So, that's right. But I do really like the thought if we could have a historic tie into the community. Yeah, I agree. And it would do my so good to know that it was some place that was yes it's yeah. sterling sure both your girls would feel sterling right okay. yeah. that was the other thing he mentioned both, both of these are like quality brands that were made well you know when they were made yeah so there's Derby, Derby Connecticut that's where it was made it's got the serial number and everything so th there's when he looks at it he'll be able to yeah he'll tell you okay. and the other thing is is with what the the wires are if what the um, grade of wires are is huge um, if it's, it, because at a certain point um, during like during the war years and other things they cheat down on the wires because they use they had to use the metal for yeah. other things so well, depending on when that. it was rewired and that that type of stuff is a huge yeah. yeah another cool thing about it it was used during the bicentennial. They literally came to our house, the moving company, moved it to the Dickens Opera House. To be used. And they used it during the, um, oh, somebody wrote a it, vignette or whatever yeah. it was about Chicago Colony and it, 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 Long it, History yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that was the piano that was used. Cool. They're just to play that for that big of a, wow. But see, but see that's, that's so, cool. so the tie in with this. Would be amazing. Lots of that's a, This is what we're, I think, waiting. Yeah, we need, the, we need them here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, that yeah, gives me one of those. Wow. I'll send you that today if you can reach out Please. to him and yeah. let him know. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. We'll just get dimensions. You can make note of the dimensions of your piano. He, you he, he's back. amazing. He's got this book that he can look everything up really quickly once he gets the serial mm -hmm. number mm -hmm. and he looks everything up and just it's that's fabulous cool. that's very just fabulous mm -hmm. yeah and did you have anything nope. no no good good i just mm -hmm. want to mention that, that uh, in our packet is the uh, quarterly report i read that um did anybody have any that basically came from the staff did we have anybody have any questions about that I love the format. I forgot it was in there. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's information for us. It's information for us. It's really great information. I, I love the way we have to change the format a little bit. I, I like the format. I the reason I did it. that is to be, to make it easier, to be honest, uh, based on how we gather information and how we keep track of information. Ooh. So it's more reflective of that so that it just transfers over really easily. So. Right. Good. I really liked it. I thought it was yeah. much easier to read. And yeah, it's way easier. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. The baby sprinkle. Um, it's like a new term for a baby shower, but on a smaller level where I think it's not yes. as much oriented as just like a gathering. It's more like uh, that was the, the, the term that they coming. used. So. The baby sprinkle. Baby yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's like for like your second, second child. child. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Nice. You don't need as much stuff. Yeah. You hope you don't need as much stuff. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess the only thing we don't really have is financial information. Yeah. Do we need that? We see what it's helpful to know. Yeah. From I was just basing this off of the last few that we've done. Okay. Um, oh. what, well, what we talked about was um, doing it quarterly. Check with Cyril and was trying about about quarterly, which would be like next month, so we can get a view. Well, this is we wouldn't be perfect. Right. right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Well. So, so financial, maybe, maybe we can't maybe. really get by now. We can't get a financial complete by now. It would have to be made to get the first I see what you're financial. Saying. Chat with Sue Ellen. But that was, that was what we talked about. Was making yeah. sure. so let's, I thought, what would you like to see? I, I thought w what was discussed at one of the board meetings is that we would be getting the numbers quarterly yep. to make it easier for you 
And, and yes, yeah. well, this compile is with the city reports. The quarterly reports. Mm -hmm. So we can do those, you know, like the additional. The orders. April quarterly report can be available then in May. Mm -hmm. If that's how we want to do it. Basically, you know, it's um, it's basically the house fund. You know, it's, it's what is in the annual report, you know, but just do it on a quarterly mm -hmm. um, basis. Okay. You know, you know, this annual report breaks down the. I'm trying to make it easier for you and, too, so you're not constantly. The house fund. Yeah. Exactly. This isn't your. This is done quarterly. This isn't done something that Simple. you have to do every month. Right. Every month. So we'll do just... it. The same information that's in the annual report with the quarterly. The quarterly will be a month after. Correct. That that's available. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Works. Yeah. So check with Sarah. That way, I spent house fund. Okay. And if you have it all, I can get that stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, anything else from the staff? Uh, no, okay, moving on to items from the board. Anybody? Um, I did bring that postcard in that I got from the, um, which was a picture of the house, which um, I thought was interesting. I had received a, a postcard um, from um, my one friend, um, the Monoranos, and um, she she goes all over the place and does archaeology things and she had gotten and received uh, sent some postcards from Longmont specifically um, that were written on um, and one of them was the Callahan house and so I brought the postcard um, and gave it to you I don't know where you put it but it's in the scrapbooks but um, uh, it was interesting it had awnings on it on the house oh, sure. and um, but I thought it was a neat kind of thing. And I was wondering if, you know, if we're looking at selling various different things, we maybe might, might consider trying to replicate an antique postcard and consider selling it with, with um, the books and the um, pictures, possibly. It was really kind of cool. I, I, I like the aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, that was the only thing I had. I like that. Oh, I have a lot of experience with print merchandise, mm -hmm. um, and I'd like to expand our offerings, you know, a little bit right. in an appropriate way since we're doing like a quarterly mm -hmm. open house. But I think that kind of thing always sells. So. Yeah, I, it does that because I know for a fact that's something I would purchase. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm like going cool. Yeah. Um, I, that's just one aspect of something. And then the other thing that I did want to, I know that we're not listed to, to talk about it, but um, I did um, go ahead and set up, um, uh, sorry, I'm blanking today, and I apologize. Um, Mr. Monorano, Sal, to, who um, come in and redo the music for the um, fall heart walk. Heart walk. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, the great thing about that is then he can include us in his, um, he's got a huge phone of people, um, and he could include us in his um, outreach as well to, to come in. So I think that did help yeah, increase actually. our numbers. So, um, yeah, I thought he was very family friendly Excellent. and whatnot. So, um, yeah, he's got a great repertoire. He'll work with us and do anything with his. He's all upbeat about it. So, um, should our walk be on here as a future? Yes. Item? Well, it's 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 down. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. But cool. music's lined up. It's kind of, I mean, finding somebody that will work at that price and, and be enthusiastic, plus we get their numbers. I thought it was a win win. Yeah. Okay. So, Anybody else? I have two things. One, the historian's brief, and yes. then the second is going to be a pleasant surprise, and I'll pull on that for a second. But I'm going to give this to you, Cindy, so that you have it, because I'm going to read this off 
bless you. Okay. Just relax and enjoy listening. I'm going to read this off so that everyone can, can hear this and hope this will be great. Um, and I, just so you know, I gather the information that I'm reporting to you all from, uh, it's a compilation of several sources. Some from the skin from the book, some from old newspapers, some from just PEO historian, some from um, um, uh, other research I'm, I've been doing. Here goes. So this is going to be the topic today is I'm on clubs and get to the house. And I picked this because it seemed fitting for what we're doing with our board business. Um, so both Tom and Alice were active participants in Mama Society. Tom had his clubs and um, and then Alice was part, a participant in many clubs. She did Lady Maccabees. So speaking about, is it a historic club? Here are some of those historic clubs. Lady Maccabees, column by number 11 of Eastern Star, Mutual Improvement Club, Fortnightly Club, Bridge Club, Kensington Club, and then of course her favorite, the, the PEO. And Chapter M was the first chapter of PEO here in Longmont, and she is listed as the 37th member. Um, there's this beautiful um, history book where each member, as they're initiated, is signing in. She's the 37th member of the first chapter of PEO here in Mama. <clears throat> and she was initiated in 1911 and was um, actively participating until they left the city in 1938. Um, she often hosted club meetings here at the house, although many of the ladies' clubs met, obviously, within just um, their own homes, or sometimes in a fellowship hall in a church. Um, but the, the men had clubhouses and lodges and specific uh, meeting locations. Um, anyway, um, so speaking about the, the Callahans, in 1938, they decided to move to Reno, Nevada, to be closer to other business interests that they had, as well as their own child, Raymond, and his family, who they were living in California. So Tom and Alice were, um, well, respectively 80 and 71 years old at that time um, in May of 1938, prior to their move. The Callahan's offered to give the house uh, to the city and specifically to be used as one's the building and civic home. And here it is in a letter printed in the Daily Times call. Tom wrote, quote, the men have their lodges and club rooms and much has been done to provide recreation for the young folk, but the ladies seem to have been forgotten. This place will make an ideal home for club meetings and parties." End quote. So Mayor Ray Lanyon quickly called a special meeting of the city council to take action on the Calhoun's proposed gift, and the special meeting occurred on May 27th, 1938, wherein the council voted unanimously to accept the Terry Street property and authorized the city, uh, city attorney to drop the papers to um, effect the legal transfer. The recorded warranty deed was signed by Thomas M. Callahan and Alice E. Callahan on June 11, 1938, transferring ownership of the property to the city of Longmont. And then in the weeks following, the city council enacted ordinances to regulate the use of the, of the Terry Street property. A Callahan House board was authorized to take charge of the home and supervise its use by and for the women of the community. So it's just an important um, history to remember and in part why we have our mission statement to remind us um, to preserve, maintain, and promote the gift of the historic Callahan House for the use and enjoyment of the Lama community, creating memories and providing a legacy for the future. So special yeah. history. So something just as a, as a side note, in Lee's and uh, uh, Rosalind's book, um, this is where this is where they got a piece of information on. Um, she had it listed that uh, it, the city accepted it as a gift from um, Tom and Raymond Callahan. Oh. That is not what happened. It was from Tom and Alice. And actually, there was a um, correction in the title work that was done in advance of the title work being transferred from Tom and Alice to the city. And that was because Tom was not titled to um, this lot, the main house. Alice was on title to that lot. She bought the house from Mary Jones. 
and the tongue was untied to the 31st strip of land to the north in this building that he purchased from each Jones, different Joneses. And so, <laughs> so to clear things up, yeah, right, um, they had to go ahead and Alice deeded her property to Raymond, Tom deeded his properties to Raymond, then Raymond turned around and deeded the entire property, all of the legal descriptions, the lots, and um, to both Tom and Alice Bryan. So, so there's the it accurate like take two days to do it, right? Uh, it actually occurred, I'm not sure about that, but it occurred over some time, and, and I think in part they did that, and, and it was in advance, um, because time it took time to get things um, um, notarized, it also took time to record the documents, and so you had to allow that time. So I can share that time with you another That's time. Amazing. I did not bring those with me, but I do have copies of because I've printed out. I'm sure you did. Those things. <laughs> so Sorry, I, I don't need to put a wrench into things. No, it's just it's just the, the history and the element. They were very purposeful mm -hmm. in everything that they did, and um, and so that is a piece of information you all should be aware of. It's in the Supreme Court book, but that piece is not correct. Not quite, so, right. Not quite right. The legal documents show. Well, that's something to, to, to remember if we are doing the reprinting that we could possibly make it correct. That's what I've been thinking about doing, actually. <laughs> so, thinking about maybe writing another book is already on my radar. Okay. Probably. Maybe. Oh. It, it might be less than we might have a little bit of it. <laughs> Might be the route we have to take, depending on what we can talk about. So. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. As well, thank, thank you. Karen. And so, for my surprise, please. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, along those lines, I have all kinds of weird papers at my house. This happens to be the deed of trust, I think. Yeah, release of deed of trust to Mary Jones for the property over there. And this was um, Solomon's guy, who loaned her whatever a deed of trust happens. It, his name is on here, and so is Herman or Hyman Shy, who I haven't quite figured out who he is oh, yeah. or how he fits into this whole stuff. But this is Solomon Shy, who released the deed of trust to Mary Jones. And I have the original at home, but I can't. But it's, it's way cool. I mean, yeah. all the yeah, signatures and stuff. Oh, that's so really yeah. cool. The reason this is in here is because when I find the original, uh, it needs to go to the library, to the museum, museum mm -hmm. and then this will go in the scrapbook. But, yeah, I love it. It's sort of cool. And Jacob Shy was the attorney that drew yes. all that. Yes. Yes. Nice. That's so interesting. Cool. Yeah. I find all kinds of weird oh, stuff like she do. I just have treasures. Yeah, treasures, treasures, right? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what quite to do with all of it. Right, you should go to the museum. Right. So on to my okay. surprise. On to your surprise, though. I've been in contact with Lynn Callahan. With Lynn. Oh, Lynn Callahan. She is Randall's one of Randall's daughters. Oh, okay. And so she still it is Lynn. She's still Callahan. She's Mildred Lynn Callahan. She was named after her mother. Raymond's first wife was Mildred Bourne. And they had Randall. Um, and, and Mildred Bourne passed away um, early into their marriage. Um, so she, I think you may have read it was going to be on the book. She traveled out to the mainland for yeah. to help. And so, um, but Randall came here to visit the house with his wife Beverly and his youngest daughter Libby um, back in July of um, 1978-79 and they hadn't been back since. I was able to reach her and wow. she lives in California and she's taking care of her mom, Beverly, who's still oh, living. Cool. She's wow. going to be turning 94 this year. Wow. I'm still sharp as a tack though wow. because I got to speak with both of them. Oh, great. great. 
Um, Libby is um, also in the area in California as well. And so Lynn and Libby would like to come and visit. Um, oh, that's so exciting. Beverly is, is, um, she is in a wheelchair and unable to travel. Um, but my hope, and I'm hoping you with your blessing you can do this, is that I can arrange a time to FaceTime with them so that I can um, let them tour through the house oh, yeah. so that Beverly can see. Because she, when she was here, um, she did not get to go upstairs. Oh. They only had a tour downstairs. Um, but uh, so if it's all right, we will. Oh, to be able to. to and you said she's turning 94? She's turning 94. Is there any Beverly. way that we could also send her a birthday card from the board? Yeah, absolutely. And um, it would be um, in the fall, but um, yeah. I think that would be mm -hmm. a nice added touch. Yeah, very so. sweet. Yeah. Yes, she will. Yeah. Be. Oh, that's so neat. But, um, that really is. So they're excited because. Yeah, they have so much to share with us, and, and of course we have lots to share with them. And, right. Um, yeah. And it will be wonderful to have them um, have continuity. Have visit, oh, right? Yeah. Um, so that's the cool. surprise news. Well, yes. That's really yeah, exciting. Great. Wow. exciting. Wow. That is very cool. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking on a timeline on when that would occur? Um, I'm not sure yet. That will be entirely up to them. Well, as far as um, a travel out to visit, that's up to them. Um, uh, Lynn does take care of Beverly, um, so she's kind of a primary care provider. Um, yeah, but um, that's hard. we'll have to figure that out. Uh, but in the meantime, as far as doing the, uh, the virtual tour, mm -hmm. I'm hoping that can be done sooner. Sure. So that sure. we can make sure Beverly's included. Mm -hmm. Those numbers. I think. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Fine. So it's all oh, right. cool. Research. <laughs> it's fun. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. It was great. It was a great conversation. She's like, I could talk to you forever. Yeah. <laughs> I will listen forever. Yeah. You could talk to her forever. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, um, fun, yeah. I think that's it. Entertaining adjournment. Yes. I move we adjourn. Second. Yes. All in favor? Yes. Okay. There's never any. 1056. We did that. We'll move on to the next one.